Hey guys, so for today's class, we're gonna be doing a flow for all you people who work at a desk all day. Um, it's gonna be a more upbeat flow. So get an upbeat playlist ready and have a block handy. I'll meet you on the mat. All right, so we're gonna meet in standing today at the top of our mat. And I want you to take a second, get grounded. Feet are about fist distance, which is also known as hip distance apart. And then inhale the arms to the sky, reach it nice and high. Exhale, reach the fingertips to the earth, palms face forward, fingertips are spreading as wide as they can. Shoulders reach down the back, feet are grounding deep into the earth, heart is reaching tall. Close the eyes, and we're going to take three deep breaths into the nose and out through the mouth. Deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Two more times. Turning back to the neutral breath. Just noticing how you feel today. Showing up to your practice. Showing up to your body. And here we go. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Let the hands come to the earth or to a block if the earth is a bit too far away today. You can use a block to bring it closer. Fold towards the earth of the block, relax the head. And then inhale, inch by inch, slowly come all the way back to the sky, reach it high. Exhale, forward fold, slowly come down, moving with awareness. Inhale, up. Exhale down. I'm going to do this three more times. Flow with your breath. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Come all the way down and hold here. You can pedal out the knees if that feels good. Maybe shake out the head, yes or no. And relax. Inhale, come all the way back to the sky. You're going to stay as you are. I'm going to turn so you can see me better. So feet are still hip distance apart. And I want you to take that right hand under the belly button, reach it towards the left side. Left hand reaches over the left ear towards the right side. Deep breath in. Exhale, go the other way. Just reaching to the other side, finding your length, and then go back to that left side. We're reaching through the left side to the right. And we're just going to move side to side at your own pace. Find that gentle side body stretch. Lengthening from the shoulders to the fingertips. One more time each way. And coming back to center, I'm turning so you can see me. Hands reach behind the back, interlace the hands. Point your fingers, point down. Reach them towards the earth, lift the heart nice and tall, find a gentle back bend. And then inhale, arms come to the sky, exhale, fold forward. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, come nice and tall. Exhale, hands to hips, step it wide on your mat. We're going to have toes point out, heels point in, hands on hips still, and we're going to come down into squat. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, lower down into squat. You can have your hands on your hips, or if you want more of a challenge, take the hands in front of you nice and long, palms face the earth. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Move with control, move with the breath. For 
for three, two, one, come up, reach the arms nice and tall, and then turn the feet just in slightly. They can be about parallel to each other now, maybe toes are just slightly out. Right arm circles back down, left arm up and over that left ear again, maybe reaching a little bit farther. And we're gonna come forward, down and around, all the way up. Right back into it, two more times. Circle down and around, last time. All the way down and around, coming back up to center, reaching it tall. Go to the other side. Left arm down, right arm up and over. And then find that 360. All the way around. And then find that circle all the way around. One more time. And come back up through center. Exhale, hands behind the back. Interlace the hands, reach them back. And I want you to turn the feet parallel. Maybe toes point in a little bit. Fold forward, let the arms drop over the head. Bend the knees if you need to here. Shake out the head, yes or no. Release that tension in the neck. And come all the way up, reach those arms behind you, lift the heart, and arms come to the sky. All right, take the hands to about a T position here, and looking to the right, we're gonna turn the right toes out, bending deep into that right knee. Take the right forearm to the right thigh, left arm up and over that left ear, big side body stretch here. Keep that left shoulder back towards the wall behind you so you're not falling forward, you're opening the heart. Deep breath in, deep breath out. We're gonna rotate to the other side now, turning the right toes in, left toes out, lunging into the left leg, left forearm down, right arm up and over the right ear. And coming back to the right side, turning on the toes. Back to the left. We're going to do one more time each side. Back to the right. And back to the left. All right, coming back through center. Arms come to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. We're going to walk over to that right leg, turning on the toes to face the right side of the wall here. Bend that left knee to the earth, untuck the back left toes, and sink forward into that right knee. So, if you're here and this is a bit too much, you can always take that block to bring the earth a little bit closer to you and giving you a bit more space in the body. So finding what works for you here, staying in a nice lunge with the knee at about 90 degrees. We don't want the knee to go over the toes. Not here anyway. Keep breathing. Open those hips. Tuck the toes under the left foot. You can remove the block out to the side slightly. Lift the left knee. We're going to travel all the way over to the left side now, turning on the toes as we go. You can bring that block with you if you'd like. So now we're facing that left side and left lunge. Bend the right knee to the earth, untuck the right toes. Sink the hips forward, adjust as necessary for this left knee. And once again, you can always use that block to bring a little extra lift to your practice. One more breath here. You can remove the block, lift the back, right knee, coming back to center, forward fold. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And 
inhale, come to the sky. Exhale, hands to hips. We're gonna come into squat. So now toes point out, heels point in, bend into the knees, and bring the arms along in front of you. I'm gonna turn so you can see me better. So arms along in front of you, keeping a squat position. Inhale, open the arms wide. Exhale, draw the fingertips together. Inhale, open, lift the heart and the chin. Exhale, bring the hands together, chin to chest. Flow with your breath. One more time. And inhale, straighten the arms to the sky, straighten the legs, take the hands to the lower back, and heel toe those feet in hip distance apart. All right, hands are staying on lower back. I want you to turn the toes in just slightly, about a five degree angle here, toes point a little bit towards each other. We're locking out the knees and sending the legs straight back behind you. You don't hear me say that a lot in yoga, but this is a very specific pose. So you're sending those legs back through the knees, hands on the lower back for support, and we're going to fold into an L position with our upper body, keeping that back straight as you hinge forward, lighting up those hamstrings that so as waking up the cane muscle, as they say. Keep those elbows reaching towards each other. Breathe here. One more breath. And inhale, slowly come back up. Heel to those feet together. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Bend the knees, ground the palms, step back to plank pose. Going through one chaturanga here. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send the hips back. You can pedal the knees out. Any movement that feels good. And then take that right leg to the sky. Reach it nice and high. Looking forward, draw the right knee behind the right wrist, coming into pigeon pose. Lower that left knee to the ground. You can scoot that left leg back. And walk the hands back by the hips, lifting tall through the heart. Check in with your stance here. You don't want to be rolling off to that right hip. If you find that you are, you can always take that block and slide it under that right hip to help keep the hips parallel, even with each other. So modify as needed, listening to your body. And then when you're ready, walk yourself forward, maybe to palms, maybe to a block, or maybe all the way to the earth. We're gonna hold here for some time. So let yourself get cozy, as cozy as you can envision, and breathe. And we gently come back up to palms. Tuck the toes in the left foot, lift the left knee, step it back into plank, going through another flow, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Lift the left leg to the sky this time. And looking forward, left knee comes behind the left wrist. Slide that right leg back. Untuck the right toes. Walk the hands back. By the hips, lift the heart, and check in with your pose here. Make sure you're not rolling off to that left hip. No, you can always use that block as a modifier. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Find your pose. Maybe coming to palms, block, or all the way to the earth. 
It's okay if it's different from side to side. We're working with compassion and awareness within our bodies, within ourselves. Breathe into your edge and breathe through it. Coming back up to palms, lift that right knee off the earth, step that left foot back. One more chaturanga here. Into up dog. Into down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Looking forward, walk the feet to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then lower the hips all the way to the earth, coming onto our backs. Hug the knees to the chest. Now we're going to come into our supine twist. Keep the right knee in, left leg comes long to the earth. Right arm opens to the right side. And then take that left hand, guide the right knee over to that left side body for your twist. If this is too much, you can always add that block under that right knee for a bit more lift and support here. One more breath. And then coming back through center, we're going to go to the other side. Left knee in, right leg long. Left arm out to the left side, gaze follows. Knee to the right for your twist. And coming back through center, hug the left knee in, hug the right knee in. And I want you to roll up, grab that block, and we're gonna place this block behind our heart. So it's gonna be lighting up on the back between the shoulder blades. And once you find that position, go ahead and lay down, adjust as necessary. Let the arms come out wide, bring the soles of the feet together, and the knees open up into reclined butterfly. So we're doing a nice heart opener and hip opener here as we wind down. Keep your focus on your breath. Following every inhale and every exhale. Begin to wiggle the fingers, draw the knees into the chest, slowly come up, remove the block, and come all the way back onto our backs into Shavasana. Take any other movement you may need before you get there, and then as you're ready, let the body find its way into Shavasana, letting go of any need to fidget, adding any modifications, block bolsters, blankets, finding what you need and finding your way into your comfortable, relaxed position with your eyes closed. Finding our way into our meditative state, letting the body relax, letting it be still, and our eyes remain closed. Listening to our breath, we follow it in and out. If 
we allow ourselves this time of stillness, relaxation. We allow ourselves this time of reflection. As you lay here, following your breath, you may choose to listen to my voice or let it fade into the background. To be constantly reaching, changing, growing. This is our nature. Just like water, always reshaping itself to its environment to choose its best path. We must do the same. We make decisions that challenge us. We find new corners within ourselves to dust off and feng shui our beliefs, our understandings, and our lives. We shed those things that no longer serve us, creating space for our growth, our paths toward our best self, And if there's resistance, our spirit will fight it, like the river fights the walls that try to confine it. You can try to hold yourself back, but the truth will cut away what doesn't belong. And eventually you will find that you've been creating your own path all along. Keep reaching, growing, and challenging yourself. Letting these words resonate with you however they may. Take a moment to bring to mind and to heart what is something that inspires you today. Sit with it as long as you need. And whenever you're ready, finding your way back to your body and your breath. Thank you for joining me today. It is an honor. Namaste.